Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Native And the title is You Can't Keep Hiding Forever. Can you please repeat? You Can't Keep Hiding Forever. You Can't Keep Hiding Forever. Alrighty, now let's move on to today's goal. Can you please read? To be able to talk about your habit. Alright, now let's move on. Today's phrase says, please repeat after me. You should stop hiding from him. 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 You can't keep hiding forever. 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 All right, let's move on to today's grammar point. We have verbs that take only a gerund. All right, so um, verb that takes only ing behind. Ing is a past image. For example, keep, finish, avoid, and enjoy. Let's read the example. I finished doing my homework. I finished doing my homework. I finished to do my homework. I finished to do my homework. I enjoy having dinner with Tom. I enjoy having dinner with Tom. I enjoy to have dinner with Tom. I enjoy to have dinner with Tom. Alright, do you have any questions, Ken? None so far. Alright, let's now move on to new words and expressions. Please repeat twice. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. What are you doing? Playing hide and seek? 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 Avoid. 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 I'm trying to avoid meeting Steven. 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 Hide. 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 You can't keep hiding from him. 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 On my side. On my side. On my side. On my side. Aren't you on my side? 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 Face. 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 I will face it. I will face it. I will face it. I will face it. Eventually. 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 I will face it 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 eventually. Alright, let's now move on to the next one short conversation okay so first let's read uh everything together please repeat after me okay all right sophia sees her boyfriend Steven on the street and starts acting weird sophia sees her boyfriend steven on the street and starts acting weird what are you doing playing hide and seek what are you doing playing hide and seek I'm trying to avoid meeting Steven, you know. We had a bad road trip last weekend. I'm trying to avoid meeting Steven. You know, we had a bad road trip last weekend. Right, but you should stop hiding from him because you can't keep doing that forever. Right, but you should stop hiding from him because you can't keep doing that forever. I know, I'm just not ready for it. I know, I'm just not ready for it. Okay, three months ago, you couldn't stop thinking about him, but now you can't stop hiding from him, huh? Three months ago, you couldn't stop hi thinking about him, but now you can't stop hiding from him, huh? Hey, you're my brother. Aren't you on my side? You know, we'll face it eventually. Hey, you are my brother. Aren't you on my side? You know, I will face it eventually. Yeah, eventually. Keep saying that. Yeah, eventually. Keep saying that. Okay, one more time, Ken, okay? Let's read together. Okay. Okay, uh, Sophia sees her boyfriend Steven on the street and starts acting weird. Sophia sees her boyfriend Steven on the street and starts acting weird. What are you doing playing hide and seek? 
What are you doing? Playing hide and seek? I'm trying to avoid meeting Steven. You know, we had a bad road trip last weekend. I'm trying to avoid meeting Steven. You know, we had a bad road trip last weekend. Right, but you should stop hiding from him because you can't keep doing that forever. Right, but you should stop hiding from him because you can't keep doing that forever. I know, I'm just not ready for it. I know, I'm just not ready for it. Three months ago, you couldn't stop thinking about him, but now you can't stop hiding from him, huh? Three months ago, you couldn't stop thinking about him, but now you can't stop hiding from him, huh? Hey, you're my brother. Aren't you on my side? You know I will face it eventually. Hey, you are my brother. Aren't you on my side? You know I will face it eventually. Alright, very well. Now let's move on to the last one. Yeah, eventually. Keep saying that. Yeah, eventually. Keep saying that. Okay, so now we will uh, move on to the roleplay. I'll be Jacob first and then you'll be Sophia. Okay. okay. Mm. I'll start. Sophia sees her boyfriend Steven on the street and starts acting weird. What are you doing playing hide and seek? I'm trying to avoid meeting Steven. You know we had a, a bad road trip last weekend. Alright, but you should stop hiding from him because you can't keep doing that forever. I know, I'm just not ready for it. Um, I know. Okay, three months ago you can stop thinking about him, but now you can't stop hiding from him, huh? Hey, you are my brother. Aren't you on my side? You know I will face it eventually. Yeah, eventually. Keep saying that. Alright, now let us switch rules. You'll be Jacob, I'll be Sophia. Sophia sees her boyfriend Steven on the street and starts acting weird. What are you doing? Playing hide and seek? I'm trying to avoid meeting Steven. You know, we had a bad road trip last weekend. Right, but you should stop hiding from him because you can't keep doing that forever. I know, I'm just not ready for it. Three months ago, you couldn't stop thinking about him, but now you can't stop hiding from him, huh? Hey, you're my brother. Aren't you on my side? You know I will face it eventually. Yeah, eventually. Keep saying that. Alright, thank you so much for that, Ken. Do you have any questions? Not so far. Let us move on to question part. So, um, yeah, first question. Are you ready? Okay. What is Sophia doing and why is she doing that? Mm. Uh, sh she's... She's trying to avoid meeting Steven because they had a bad road trip last weekend. Okay, so Sophia is hiding because she wants to avoid Steven because they had a bad road trip last weekend. Very well done, Ken. Yep. Uh, number two, so according to Jacob, how was Sophia acting three months ago? Hmm, she couldn't... She couldn't stop thinking about him three months ago. About Steven three months ago. Yeah. Right? About him three months ago, correct? Uh, number three, what is Sophia going to do about her situation with Steven? Mm. Uh, sh she's going to face it eventually. Alright, so she's going to face it eventually. All right, thank you so much for that. Very good. Yes. Uh, let's have exercise this time. So please read the directions. Look at the following pictures and answer the questions using keep ing, stop ing. Alrighty. So let's read the example. Where is Anne? I don't know, but she should stop hiding. Or she's under the table, but she can't keep hiding all day. All right, now let's have the second um, example. How's John? He's fine. He wants to keep exercising all day. Or he's doing great. He should keep exercising. Okay, do you have any questions? None so far. Let's have the third one. Where is Mr. Greenway? Uh, he's at a bar. Mm -hmm. uh, he... He he keeps drinking all day. He keeps drinking all day. 
Hmm. Okay. Wait for a while. Four. He keeps. Sorry, wait for a while. He keeps drinking um. all day. All right. Thank you so much for that. Um, next. How are Adriana and Michael? They are not. Uh, they. They don't do well. They are not doing well. They are not doing well. Uh, they they keep arguing again they keep arguing with each other hmm. so they keep arguing with each other okay so they're not doing well they keep arguing with each other correct all right or they keep ignoring yes not arguing mm. oh yeah yeah it's okay it's okay argue or it's okay um ignore mm. all right next how is miss mary she's doing well uh she keeps worrying about her health So she's doing well. She keeps worrying about her health. She's she's doing well. She's, or she's not, not doing well. Not doing well. All right. So she's not doing well. All right. Next, where are Lisa and Brandon? They are at the park. Mm -hmm. They keep thinking about each other wow <laughs> sun on next how is my nephew he is lazy again all right so he is lazy he's being lazy again hmm he he keeps thinking something he should what he he keeps thinking something he keeps thinking um is it um so he's lazy because he's thinking about something. Hmm. Ah. Oh. About something. Okay, so he's being lazy again. He keeps thinking about something. All right. Thank you so much for that. So, do you have any questions? Not so far. All right. So let's move on to three conversation this time um can san can you talk about something you keep doing you can't stop you just want to do that every time every time okay How and why i keep studying english okay all right how do you study english only in native camp only in native camp why do you study English? Because I I need to study English for my work. Mm, your your company is a foreign company. It's international. Uh, it's not because I uh, but I need. Ah, uh, but you need. Okay. How long have you been studying English? For two years. For two years. Okay, is Native Camp a helpful tool for your study? Yes. No, 
Ah, that's good to hear. Okay. How about number two? Can you talk about something you've stopped doing? Hmm. How and why? I stopped overeating. Oh my God, that's so good for you. Hmm. <laughs> how how did you stop it? Like because it's so hard to stop overeating. It's so hard. How did you stop yourself from overeating? Hmm. I'm not sure. I I could easily. Ah, so it wasn't easy for you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's hard, really. <laughs> so how did you stop it? Because it's hard. Uh, uh, because uh, I'm. Thinking, thinking of health for my health made me do that. Mm -mm -mm. So you're thinking about your health. That's mm. so good, right? Yeah. That's your motivation. Yes. Why you want to do that. Mm. Um, yeah, that, that explains everything. Thank yeah. you so much for that, Ken. Yes. So, Ken, we are done with everything. Do you have any questions? That's so far. Okay, how would you like us to spend the eight rem last remaining eight mini minutes? Would you like us to go to the next lesson or we will have review? Yes, let's move on to the next page. Uh, okay, no problem. Let me now change. Okay, so 62. Wait for a while, please. Alright, so you chose uh, Grammar Beginner 62 and the title is They Decided to Live Together, right? Yes. Okay, um, can you please check today's goal, Ken? To be able to talk about your will. Can you please read today's phrases? They decided to live together. He didn't promise to marry her. Alright, can you also check today's grammar point? Mm, okay, verbs that take only an infinitive. Hope, decide, agree, promise, refuse. Example. I hope to marry her. I can't say I hope marrying her. I can say I refuse to go home. I can't say I refuse to go home. Next, I agreed to live with him. I can't say I agreed living with him. All right, very well. Thank you so much for that. So do you have any questions, Ken? Not so far. All right. Now let's move on to the next one. New words and expressions. Please repeat twice, okay? Yes. So let's have wedding. 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 When is the wedding? When is the wedding? When is the wedding? When is the wedding? Decide. 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 They decided to live together. 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 Get married. Get married. Get married. Get married. Actually wants to 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 get married. Complicated. 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 It's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for one more i feel bad for <laughs> i feel bad for <laughs> i feel bad for her my bad i feel bad for her i feel bad for her i feel bad for her all right now let's move on to the short conversation so please repeat after me okay okay so sarah and lydia are talking about their friend ashley's moving sarah and lydia are talking about their friend ashley's moving Ashley and her boyfriend Nick are planning to move into our neighborhood. Ashley and her boyfriend Nick are planning to move into our neighborhood. Really? That's exciting. When's their wedding? Really? That's exciting. When is their wedding? There's no wedding. They decided to live together, but Nick didn't promise to marry her. There's no wedding. They decided to live together, but Nick didn't promise to marry her. What? But Ashley wants to get married, doesn't she? What? 
But Ashley wants to get married, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. I think it's complicated. Yeah, she does. I think it's complicated. Does he refuse to marry Ashley? Does he refuse to marry Ashley? I don't think he refuses, but he definitely doesn't agree to marry her either. I don't think he refuses, but he definitely didn't agree to marry her either. I see, I feel bad for her. I see, I feel bad for her. Okay, one more time, okay? Yes. Um, Ashley and her boyfriend Nick are planning to move into our neighborhood. Ashley and her boyfriend Nick are planning to move into our neighborhood. Really? That's exciting. When's their wedding? Really? That's exciting. When is their wedding? There's no wedding. They decided to live together, but Nick didn't promise to marry her. There's no wedding. They decided to live together, but Nick didn't promise to marry her. What? But Ashley wants to get married, doesn't she? What? But Ashley wants to get married, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. I think it's complicated. Yeah, she does. I think it's complicated. Does he refuse to marry Ashley? Does he refuse to marry Ashley? I don't think he refuses, but he definitely didn't agree to marry her either. I don't think he refuses, but he definitely didn't agree to marry her either. I see, I feel bad for her. I see, I feel bad for her. Alright, now let us uh, have a role play. I'll be Lydia first and you will be Sarah. Okay. okay. I'll start. Ashley and her boyfriend Nick are planning to move into our neighborhood. Really? That's exciting. When is their wedding? There's no wedding. They decided to live together but Nick didn't promise to marry her. What? But Ashley wants to get married, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. I think it's complicated. Does he refuse to marry Ashley? I don't think he refuses, but he definitely didn't agree to marry her either. I see. I feel bad for her. Alright, now let us switch roles. You may start now. Ashley and her boyfriend Nick are planning to move into a raw neighborhood. Really? That's exciting. When's their wedding? There's no wedding. They decided to live together, but Nick didn't promise to marry her. What? But Ashley wants to get married, doesn't she? Yes, she does. I think it's complicated. Does he refuse to marry Ashley? I don't think he refuses, but he definitely didn't agree to marry her either. I see. I feel bad for her. Okay, Ken, thank you so much for that. So let's move on to question part, okay? Okay. Let us have number one. What did Nick and Ashley decide to do? They decided to live together. Very well. Number two, are Nick and Ashley getting married? Why or why not? No, they are getting married uh, because... No, they are not getting married. Mm, ah, they are not. Uh, because Nick didn't promise to marry her. Alright, because Nick didn't promise to marry Ashley. Okay, let's have number three. How does Sarah feel about Ashley? Mm. Uh, she feels bad for Ashley. Okay, very well. Thank you. Let's move on now to exercise. So please look at the following pictures. Okay, please repeat after me first. Let's have agree. Agree. Plan. Plan. Refuse. Refuse. Decide. Decide. Hope. Hope. Want. Want. All right, let's have let's read the example. They plan to travel together and she agreed to come to the beach with him. They planned to travel together and she agreed to come to the beach with him. He was hoping to swim with her but she refused to swim. He was hoping to swim with her but she refused to swim. So they decided to go back to the hotel. So they decided to go back to the hotel. All right, thank you. So now it's your turn. Okay, can you? Uh, no, just one minute. How about picture number two? <laughs> okay. Uh, they they want to go to the beach. Uh, they they didn't. They don't decide to swim there. Okay, so they agreed. Do not swim there. Mm. They hope to be with them. 
Uh, they hope to stay in bed. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you can say they want to go to the beach, but um, they agreed to swim there. Mm. They hope to stay in bed. Okay, so thank you so much for everything, Ken. I hope to see you again soon. Mm, thank you so much. Oh, yes, have a great day. See you again. Thank see you. you. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is and Catherine. today we'll be having a grammar beginner lesson 63. Yes. You ready to start? Okay. Alright. Let's read our title first. Please repeat after me. Okay. Now I remember puking on her. Now I remember puking on her. Right. And please check today's goal. To be able to talk about memories. Right, and today's phrases, please repeat after me twice. Okay. I forgot meeting her before. 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 Next sentence. Now I remember puking on her. 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 Now let's have our grammar point this time. Let's read together. Verbs that change their meaning depending on the type of words that follow them. Verbs whose meaning depends on the word that follows. We have the TRF for try, remember, forget. Okay. okay. Hmm. Let's have, let's read the verbs together. The first one is try to. Try to. Try ing. Try ing. Remember to. Remember to. Remember ing. Remember ing. Forget to. Forget to. Forget ing. Forget ing. Okay. So remember that it changed or the meaning changes depending yes. on the word that follows them. Any questions? Not so far. Now moving on to our short numbers, uh, our sorry, our new words and expressions. Please repeat after me twice. Okay. Thank you. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Okay. Next. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Yes. Once more. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Alright. Puke. 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 I puked on her. I puked on her. I puked. I puked on her. I puked on her. Right. Psychiatrist. 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 You should try seeing a 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 psychiatrist. Slap. 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 She slapped me. She slapped me. She slapped me. She slapped me. Okay. Now let's move on to our short conversation. Okay. And uh, please repeat after me as well. Okay. Thank you. David and his co-worker are attending a cocktail party. David and his co-worker are attending a cocktail party. I forgot to go to the post office today. Layla sent me a message. Remember to go there by 5 o'clock though. I forgot to go to the post office today. Layla sent me a message. Remember to go there by 5 o'clock though. Post office? Who cares? I'm so screwed. Post office? Who cares? I'm so screwed. What happened? What happened? I forgot that I had already met the blind girl, Rachel, before and I tried to get her phone number again tonight. I forgot that I had already met the blonde girl, Rachel, before and I tried to get her phone number again tonight. Rachel? She's the one you puked on about six months ago, isn't she? Rachel, she's the one you puked on about six months ago, isn't she? Oh god, that's right. Now I remember puking on her and calling her Katie. 
Oh god, that's right. Now I remember puking on her and calling her Katie. Wow, you really are screwed. What did you say? Wow, you really are screwed. What did you did she say? She said you should try. Oh, sorry. She said you should try seeing a psychiatrist. Then she slapped me. She said you should try seeing a psychiatrist. Then she slapped me. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe just repeat the word slapped. 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 Yeah, T sound at the last part. Once more, slapped. Slapped. Thank you. Let's read again. David and his co-worker are attending a cocktail party. David and his co-worker are attending a cocktail party. I forgot to go to the post office today. Layla sent me a message. Remember to go there by 5 o'clock though. I forgot to go to the post office today. Layla sent me a message. Remember to go there by 5 o'clock though. Post office? Who cares? I'm so screwed. Post office? Who cares? I'm so screwed. What happened? What happened? I forgot that I had already met the blonde girl, Rachel, before, and I tried to get her phone number again tonight. I forgot that I had already met the blonde girl, Rachel, before, and I tried to get her phone number again tonight. Rachel, she is the one you puked on about six months ago, isn't she? Rachel, she is the one you puked on about six months ago, isn't she? Oh god, that's right. Now I remember puking on her and calling her Katie. Oh god, that's right. Now I remember puking on her and calling her Katie. Wow, you really are screwed. What did she say? Wow, you really are screwed. What did she say? She said, you should try seeing a psychiatrist. Then she slapped me. She said you should try seeing a psychiatrist. Then she slapped me. And this time, let's do this in a role play. Okay. Uh -huh. I will be David first, and you will be Charlie. Okay. Charlie. And please start by reading the situation first. David and his co-worker are attending a cocktail party. Mm -hmm. I forgot to go to the post office today. Layla sent me a message. Remember to go there by 5 o'clock then. Post office? Who cares? I'm so screwed. What happened? I forgot that I had already met the blonde girl, Rachel, before. And I tried to get her phone number again tonight. Rachel? She's the one you put on about six months ago, isn't she? Oh god, that's right. Now I remember puking on her and calling her Katie. Wow, you really are screwed. What did she say? She said you should try seeing our psychiatrist, then she slapped me. Okay. And let's switch roles. Okay. David and his co-worker are attending a cocktail party. I forgot to go to the post office today. Layla sent me a message. Remember to go there by 5 o'clock though. Post office? Who cares? I'm so screwed. What happened? I forgot that I had already met blonde girl, Rachel, before, and I tried to get her phone number again tonight. Rachel? She is the one you puked on around six months ago, isn't she? Oh god, that's right. Now I remember puking on her and calling her Katie. Wow, you really are screwed. What did she say? She said, you should try seeing a psychiatrist, but then she slept me. Mm. Alright, do you have any questions? Not so far. Okay. Now this time, let's answer our question spot. Okay. Okay, let's have number one. What did David forget to do? He forgot to go to the post office. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And why was Rachel so angry at Charlie? Because uh, Charlie, Charlie puked on on her, mm -hmm. and uh, he he called her Katie. Yes, that's 
to it. And what did Rachel do to Charlie? Hmm. Ah, she slapped him. Yes. And? And she said, uh, you, sh you should try seeing a psychiatrist. Yes, correct. And thank you for your correct answers. Now let's have the exercise part. Okay. Okay, check the directions, please. Look at the following pictures and answer the questions. Let's have the example first. Did you finish the assignment last night? No, she didn't. She's trying to finish it now. Okay, and the second picture. Why is she so angry? Uh, because his husband, uh, her husband, forgot to pick pick their children up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Forgot to pick their children up. Yes, that's correct. And another way of saying pick her up mm. is. Okay. Because her husband forgot to go and get their child. Yeah. Okay. Now, does Mr. Trahan remember Katie? Yes. Uh, she remembers meeting. Ah, uh, he, he remembers meeting her before. Okay. And where, where is Craig's car? His car, his car is at his home. He forgot uh, using his car today. That's correct. And she has been unable to sleep lately. Uh, she should. She should. Seeing, she should seeing her doctor. Ah, she should try seeing mm -hmm. her doctor. Yes, correct. And did he forget to go to the bank today? Uh, yes, he he remember. He remember he remember going to the bank. Okay, once more please, what's your answer? Did did he forget? Yes, yes he did. He remember going to the bank. Okay, he remember. Yes, he did. So he forgot. And Sorry, your answer? Yes, he did. Hmm. He ah, remembered going he to... He forget. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, he okay. didn't. No, he mm -hmm. didn't. He remember going to the bank. No, he didn't. He remember. So he remembered. Mm, he he rem remember. But you said no. No. Ah, no, he didn't forget. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't forget. Mm, he remember going to the bank. the bank. Alright, I understand that. Thank you. And what about the last one? What's his problem? Hmm. Mm. He tried uh, using the internet, but it doesn't work. Okay. And thank you for giving me your correct answers. Do you find it easy? Not easy. Uh, but at least you you gave correct sentences. Mm. It's a nice practice. Now this time, we'll be having the free conversation part. Okay. I'd like to hear more of your experiences. The first one, share an unforgettable memory you have. And what's so special about it? Mm. I can't... I can't forget 
uh, go uh, traveling to India. Mm -hmm. mm, because I I had mm, I I got a lot of mm, I was so surprised about mm -hmm. about uh, their tradition. Thank you. That's it. Mm, may I know what kind of tradition is that tradition about? Mm, food about the religion. Their their food was so hot. 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 Mm. Okay, you mean hot? Ah, uh, spicy. Spicy. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Indian food is, is really spicy. Yep. That's it. Alright. So, <laughs> well, what do you mean? Like, for example, you ordered a certain dish in the restaurant and you were surprised? Hmm. Be it because it was too spicy? too spicy for me. Too spicy. I understand. <laughs> At least you have tried that. And how how long did you stay there? Three days. Just three, three days. days. Mm. Okay, three days. I, I see. I, I'm just worried about like in that span of three days, were you able to eat uh, a good one? I mean, a good meal. <laughs> mm, sorry. Yeah, I mean, on that three days, were you able to get a good meal? Ah, yes, I got. Mm. Now, what is the worst thing? Well, for you, you consider that special. Yeah. It's not worst. Not the worst. Okay. Now, this time, you, could you share to me one of the worst or your worst experience, worst thing you've ever forgotten to do? And mm. did it get you in trouble? Oh, good. Uh, okay. Uh, I had, I had a car accident when I mm. was young. Uh, it's the worst thing I've mm. ever forgotten. Okay, car accident. Okay. What happened? When I was, uh, when I. When I was driving a motorbike, okay. uh, another car hit me. Okay. Okay. Mm. I I don't re remember after that. You didn't remember what happened. Yeah. After that, I see. What you, this is on what you mentioned motorcycle. Motorcycle. Motorcycle, I see. Mm. And oh, for, for sure you got hospitalized. Hmm? Sorry? You were hospitalized? I, yes, I, I was. Mm -hmm. I was in their hospital. Mm -hmm. How long before, how long did it take before you? Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to Native Camp. Can you see and hear me well? Yes, I can. Yes. So my name is Almay. May I know your name? My name is Ken. Ken. So how would you like me to call you? Ken Sen or just Ken? Just Ken. Ken. Nice to meet you, Ken. Nice to meet you too. Yes. So as I can see here, Ken, that you chose Grammar Beginner 64. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, so before we start our lesson, am I speaking too fast or just okay? Just okay. Just okay. Now let's start our lesson. The title of our lesson is Review on Lessons 59 to 63. So now please check today's goal. To be able to master the materials in Lessons 
59 to 63 and use them comfortably. Yes, now let's move on to today's phrases. Please repeat after me twice, okay? Okay. Let's start. Discovering new things is always exciting. Discovering the new things is always exciting. Discovering new things is always exciting. Discovering the new things is always exciting. Next one, I love teaching it as well. 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 Next one, why don't you try applying for them? 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 Next one, I prefer to settle in a new environment for now. I prefer to settle in a new environment for now. I prefer to settle in a new environment for now. I prefer to settle in a new environment for now. Next one, you're avoiding thinking about the opportunity. 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 Remember to keep moving forward. 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 Yes, that's right. So now let's move on to the new words and expressions. Please repeat after me twice, okay? Okay. Let's start. Discover. 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 Next one. Discovering new things is exciting. 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 Next one. Job opening. Job opening. Job opening. Job opening. Next one, there are job openings for professors. 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 Next one, apply. 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 Next one, why don't you try applying for them? 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 Next one. What do you like? There are two pronunciations for this one. Advertisement or advertisement. What do you like, Ken? Advertisement. Advertisement. Hmm. Yes. One more time. Advertisement. Advertisement. Last one. Advertisement. Advertisement. Next one. I saw the advertisement. I saw the advertisement. Next one. What are you waiting for? 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 Let's do that once again. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? One more time. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Next one. Settle in. Settle in. Settle in. Settle in. Next one. I prefer to settle in my new environment first. I'd prefer to settle in my new environment first. I'd prefer to settle in my new environment first. I'd prefer to settle in my new environment first. Next one, opportunity. 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 Next one, you will miss the opportunity. 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 Next one, move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Next one, remember to keep moving forward. 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 Next one, regret. 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 You will regret it. You will regret it. You will regret it. You will regret it. That's right. So do you have any questions so far? None so far. And so far, now let's move on to short conversation. So yes, let's read a conversation together. Please repeat after me. Let's start. Let's have the situation first. Nick is talking to his best friend, John, on the phone. Nick is talking to his best friend, John, on the phone. How is work? How is work? It's great. Discovering new rules and patterns in languages is always exciting, and I love teaching it as well. Studying a language is knowing culture, you know? It's great. Discovering new rules and patterns in languages is always exciting. And I love teaching it as well. 
Studying a language is knowing culture, you know? Right. I'm glad to know you are doing well. Hey, there are job openings for professors at some universities in Africa. Why don't you try applying for them? Right. I'm glad to know you are doing well. Hey, there are job openings for professors at some universities in Africa. Why don't you try applying for them? Yeah, I saw the advertisement. Yeah, I saw the advertisement. Okay, then what are you waiting for? Okay, then what are you waiting for? I recently decided to move in with Ashley, so I prefer to settle in the new environment for now. I recently decided to move in with Ashley, so I prefer to settle in the new environment for now. You mean you're avoiding thinking about this big opportunity in Africa for now? You mean you're avoiding thinking about this big opportunity in Africa for now? I'm not avoiding. I just need more time to think about it. I'm not avoiding. I just need more time to think about it. All right, it's your life. Just remember to keep moving forward or you will miss the chance and regret it. All right, it's your life. Just remember to keep moving forward or you will miss the chance and regret it. Okay, so now for the second time, let's read the conversation together again. Okay. Let's start. Nick is talking to his best friend, John, on the phone. Nick is talking to his best friend, John, on the phone. How is work? How is work? It's great. Discovering new rules and patterns in languages is always exciting, and I love teaching it as well. Studying a language is knowing culture, you know? It's great. Discovering new rules and patterns in languages is always exciting, and I love teaching it as well. Studying a language is knowing culture, you know. Right. I'm glad to know you are doing well. Hey, there are job openings for professors at some universities in Africa. Why don't you try applying for them? Right. I'm glad to know you are doing well. Hey. There are job openings for professors at some universities in Africa. Why don't you try applying for them? Yeah, I saw the advertisement. Yeah, I saw the advertisement. Okay, then what are you waiting for? Okay, then what are you waiting for? I recently decided to move in with Ashley, so I prefer to settle in the new environment for now. I recently decided to move in with Ashley, so I prefer to settle in the new environment for now. You mean you're avoiding thinking about this big opportunity in Africa for now? You mean you're avoiding thinking about this big opportunity in Africa for now? I'm not avoiding. I just need more time to think about it. I'm not avoiding. I just need more time to think about it. All right, it's your life. Just remember to keep moving forward, or you will miss the chance and regret it. All right, it's your life. Just remember to keep moving forward, or you will miss the chance and regret it. Yes, so now let's do our role play. I will be Chan and you will be Nick. Let's okay. start. So Nick is talking to his best friend Chan on the phone. How is your work? It's great. Discovering new rules and patterns in languages is always exciting, and I love teaching it as well. Studying a language is knowing culture, you know? Right. I'm glad to know you are doing well. Hey, there are job openings for professors at some universities in Africa. Why don't you try applying for them? Yeah, I saw the advertisement. Okay, then what are you waiting for? I recently decided to move in with Ashley, so I prefer to settle in the new environment for now. You mean you're avoiding thinking about this big opportunity in Africa for now? I'm not avoiding. I just need more time to think about it. All right, it's your life. Just remember to keep moving forward, or you will miss the chance and regret it. So now let's switch roles. This time you will be John and I will be Nick. Let's okay. start. Nick is talking to his best friend John on the phone. How is work? 
It's great. Discovering new rules and patterns in languages is always exciting, and I love teaching it as well. Studying a language is no knowing culture, you know? Right. I'm glad to know you are doing well. Hey, there are job openings for professors at some universities in Africa. Why don't you try applying for them? Yeah, I saw the advertisement. Okay, then, what are you waiting for? I recently decided to move in with Ashley, so I prefer to settle in the new environment for now. You mean you're avoiding thinking about this big opportunity in Africa for now? I'm not avoiding, I just need more time to think about it. Alright, it's your life. Just remember to keep moving forward or you will miss the chance and regret it. Okay, that's right. So we are done with this activity. Do you have any questions so far? None so far. None so far. Let's move on to the questions. Please answer my questions. Let's have number one. How does Nick feel about his job? Mm. Uh, he feels that... Mm, discovering new rules and patterns in languages is always exciting. Yes, okay. And what was the advertisement for? How does John feel about it? Mm. Uh, the advertisement is for, for professors at some universities in Africa. Yes, and how does John feel about it? Uh, John. John. Hmm. John feels. John recommend uh, Nick to mm -hmm. try applying for them. Yes, that's right. So now let's have number three. What's John's advice about life for Nick? Hmm. Mm. John said. John told. Him uh, to keep moving forward or he will miss the chance and regret it. Yes, that's right. So now let's move on to the exercise. So we'll have some exercises. Please check the directions. Look at the following pictures and answer the questions by filling in the blanks with the giving words. Yes, now let's do the exercise. Let's have the first picture first. Why did Emma leave for China? Hmm. China. Uh, she loves. She loves to leave another another country. She loves. She. Lo she lo loves. Two? ING? Jiran? Ah, okay. She, she loves... Uh, ah, she loves traveling. traveling. Another country. Another country, so? So she decided to go there. Ah, okay, that's right. Next one. Is she having insomnia? Yes, she... Oh, is she yes she avoids sleeping we will use was she was she yes she she was avoiding avoiding sleep she was avoid avoiding the sleeping Yes, sleeping or to sleep. Ah, okay. Yes. So uh, yes, she was avoiding to sleep, but... But she should try... Ah, let me one more try. Okay. She should try... Yes. Yes. Uh, she, she avoid meeting a doctor. Okay, she avoid meeting a doctor. Hmm. Yep. 
but she should try to see a doctor. She should try ING. Ah, seeing a doctor. Uh, okay, seeing a doctor. That's all right. Let's have the next picture. Aren't they talking to each other again? Hmm. Uh, they don't want one want to talk each other to each other uh, to each other but but they they can't keep they can't keep ign ignoring they can't keep ignoring each other each other, each other. Okay. Yes, each other either. Yeah, we can say that one. Hmm. So let's have the next one. What's going on between them? The daughter forget. Uh, forgot the promise. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, forgot, forgot to promise. Forgot to promise. Forgot to keep the promise. Okay, forgot to keep the promise. Mm. So she. Uh, she. She hates. She. She doesn't hate. Ah, uh, sorry. She she hates keeping a promise. Okay, she hates keeping a promise. Okay, so that's why. Now let's have the next one. Hmm. What's his plan for today? He promised um, going going to movie theater. To going to movie theater. Okay, but. But he he prefers to stay at home. Okay, so yep, he promised going to the movie theater, but he prefers to stay at home. Yeah. Yep. So we are done with this exercise. Do you have any questions so far? Not so far. Now let's move on to the next exercise. Please check the directions. Read the following sentences and find an, an error in each sentence. Yes, so please read and find the error in each sentence. Okay. That's number one. Sophia avoided to talk to Stephen. Uh, avoided talking. Yes, avoided talking to Stephen. Number two. Hmm. I decided going to Japan next year. Correct answer is decided to go yes to go to japan next year next one ryan loves to finishing in a lake correct answer is loves fishing loves fishing or we can also say to fish ah yes yes the same both oh, correct okay. mm. number four Drive for many hours on the highway was tiring. Okay, uh, driving. Driving. Yes, number five. I was so exciting to see the baseball game last night. Excited. Excited, that's right. So now let's move on to the free conversation. So let's use the phrases and the words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topics freely. Okay. Now let's have number one. Hmm. Share an experience you've had where you were presented with an opportunity. You were presented. You are. Okay. Ah. Uh... Mm. When I was high 
high school, when I was high school, my、mm. teacher got me a chance、uh, to, have, to have the job interview. Oh, I、uh, see. And then did you take it or let it pass? Ah, I passed it. Oh, yeah. You passed the interview. I passed. I did.、Mm. Oh, I see. So you take that opportunity? Yes. Oh, I see. When you were in high school, am I correct?、Mm, high school, yes.、Oh, yeah. So, in that case, like, why did you take that opportunity?、Mm, all of us, all of the students,、mm-hmm. uh, can get o p p o r t u n i t y、uh, Two, two types.、Uh, one is, one, one is、uh, can have an、uh, enter exam of a university or a、uh, job interview.、Mm-hmm. I see. So, in that case, like, you can actually. Uh, have a job、uh, have a job interview or an entrance Ent- examination.、Uh, entrance examination.、Mm. Oh, I see. So you chose entrance examination? I, I did, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so all of the students, they have opportunity. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes. I see. Okay. And you take that opportunity. Yeah. Did you, did you study hard to pass the exam? Yes, I did. Oh, I see. So, yeah, I heard in Japan that、uh, taking an examination, entrance examination,、mm. is really hard. R- really hard. Yeah, really hard. I see. So, you really need to,、uh, to study just to pass the exam. Yeah. So, in that case, like, how many days did you study for the exam?、Mm, for a year. For a year?、Mm. Wow, I see. Yes, because here in the Philippines, it's really different. Like, we don't study. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> When we go to or when we take an examination, entrance examination,、mm-hmm. yeah, we don't study. Yeah. I see.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's really like the examination here in the Philippines, it was really easy, maybe. Yeah,、mm-hmm. you can say it's easy, but yeah, when we go to the university for four years, it was really hard also. Oh, I see. Yes, but how about in Japan? When for four years or five years in a university, Mm. Uh, was it hard for you or not? In Japan,、uh, op- opposite. Opposite.、Mm. Entrance examination is so hard, but、uh, taking a class in university is easy.、Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, it's really easy. So, how about the professors in the university? Do they give you a lot of assignments, a lot of activities, or paperwork?、Mm, so so. So so.、Hmm. Mm-hmm, I see. So even though that it's really easy for you to go there, like, still you need to work also to study a lot.、Mm, yes.、Mm-hmm, I see. And how was that experience?、Mm, jo- mm-hmm. Job interview? Oh, yeah. How about the job interview? Yes.、Oh, uh, I, I didn't take it、uh, I, because I, I was frightened. Oh, I see. So you didn't take because、mm. you were frightened. Yeah.、Oh, so in that case, you were not yet ready or something? Yeah, yeah. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready for it. I see. But are,、uh, are, were some of your classmates took for、yeah. mm. yes. the job interview? Yes, they did. 
Mm, they were really brave at that time, <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Ken, we don't have enough time, so we will stop our lesson right here. Thank you so much for coming to my class. Mm. So, you did a great job. Please review your lesson, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. 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 ネイティブキャンプは月額で受け放題のオンライン英会話です。概要欄に公式サイトへのリンクを貼っておきます。